Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just explore one of the most important things as a developer which you will face when you're starting with a new project with existing code base which you want to refactor into something new. Basically, anytime you want to move files around. And that is how do you even structure your file system for a project. The folder structure, the file structure, how the file should be organized and everything around that. Let's go. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. Well, honestly speaking, this way of structuring your projects and files, this will actually come naturally to you once you keep on building stuff, keep on building projects, especially the bigger projects, which require a lot more planning and all that things and it will come naturally to you the reason i say that is because when you are working as a developer a lot of times you will feel that you're wasting a lot more time in your code navigation compared to the time you spend actually writing code so if that is the case that means you need a little bit of refactoring and once you figure out what the most intuitive way would be for placing the files that is when you will start learning stuff but consider this video as a just a gist of all I know and all I have learned to structure files and structure folders in projects. And let's just go ahead and take a look at how you should do it. My first point is hierarchy, which is how nested your project structure is. So a lot of times what I see is people create a lot of folders, you know, components, libraries, this, 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 and it, the depth is four, five, six folders. And this is actually bad for your navigation because until this is really required, you should avoid hierarchy or you should avoid nesting a lot of stuff because what i have usually seen and felt is that flat file structures you know in which files are placed together work the best if they are used with just a little bit of you know a sprinkle of hierarchy for example your main code base could be an src folder and then your src folder this is like an example of next.js you can have a components folder you can have a pages folder and inside pages you know you have all the individual pages listed down as api is one folder let's say then your login page is one thing and so on you see we are just one two levels down the line and that's it inside your login folder i would say keep all the files all the relevant files over here so it means you should avoid these hierarchy where let's say instead of placing the files over here you place all the files here then import them that probably would not be the best way to go about for example having pages over here then having you know home page and then having some css and stuff over here that's bad which brings me to my second point that is placing the files together now what this means this means that let's say you have a login folder over here you obviously will have index.tsx let's say as a file the next thing you have to realize is that if there are certain styles specific to this login page it should most likely go into folder itself because whenever you are modifying index.tsx or whenever you are modifying that style sheet style.css let's say it should be done you know parallelly or it should be done with each other if you're modifying styles maybe you need to make some changes to index and if you're modifying index maybe you need to make some changes to style so the relevant files basically files that need to be edited together should stay together that's that's the point here if you create the style.css file somewhere in components and then css and then login.css you're gonna be spending a lot more time jumping from this file to this file from your file navigation window or whatever it is than just having a simple mental clarity of that every single component or every single page let's say register is one has its own you know complete set of style sheets available plus this has the added advantage that it, this folder over here is completely reusable in a sense right so let's say if you have a page or if you have a component which you need in another project or you need to bring some other component inside your project all you have to do is copy that folder paste it right here and it's a complete folder in itself right similarly if you have let's say a graphql queries queries.graphql thing so that should also ideally go into the same area because queries.graphql the queries defined in this folder would be used by probably your code over here so a general rule of thumb is that you should be placing the files together which are edited Together. The third tip is actually to create names which make sense. By that what I mean is that if you are creating a components page, you should have folders or you should have files which actually makes sense. I mean it's fine if you are creating general level components like button and everything. But other than that if you are creating anything specific, don't be afraid of even putting a long name. For example, floating login embed widget. Right. So this 
this is a long long name but this conveys me clear information that what this component would be it's it's most likely a login widget which is floating in nature and that can be embedded on any single page compared to just if i just say login widget which still conveys a little bit of information but not so much and the verse is just login which basically tells me nothing whether that's a form whether that's a component whether that's a page i don't know so making sure that names that makes sense is important and last but not the least you should always consider your own gut feeling on how your file structure should look like if you feel like it is something which needs organization or reorganization feel free to do it maybe you can just reward it back if you are using something like git so it's no harm but make sure you opt into a file system structure which makes more sense to you as a developer and as your team if you're if you're working in a team so these were my two three tips which are i hope helpful to you and if they are let me know in the comment section that is all for this video if you like this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel that's all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching